For a long time now, there has been one MMORPG that has sat the top of the list when it comes to the most played, and if you're an MMORPG fan at all, you have probably heard of World of Warcraft. Currently, around the last update, it still had at least 5 million active players, and that's not even including the wave of players who jumped in for Wrath of the Lich King Classic. But there is one upcoming MMO that could finally top WoW. And no, this isn't a will this game kill World of Warcraft video. World of Warcraft has done that itself several times now, but nothing is going to stop its core fans from returning again and again every new expansion just to try and get that feeling back that they once had, as no MMO has really done before. But out of all the MMO RPGs out on the market and the ones that are currently being developed, I believe that Ashes of Creation has the biggest chance to pass World of Warcraft's all-time high of 12 million subscribers. Some may argue that the League of Legends MMO also has that chance as well, but we have literally seen zero footage of that game and don't have any idea what it's going to be about, how it's going to play out, or the features it will include. So, for the moment, it's not on my list. In order for Ashes of Creation to reach these levels, it should really look back on what made WoW so successful to begin with. World of Warcraft was built off the backbone of one of the greatest RTS games of all time. It already had players invested into the world and the story, it had characters fleshed out, zones established, the world already built in a way, and basic classes already in the game in some function. All of which they could pull from Warcraft 3 and what was already established and build off of that to create the MMORPG. Ashes of Creation does not have that. It's an indie studio by all means that had a huge Kickstarter success with a very passionate creative director who has been burned many times before by the MMORPG genre, like the rest of us. And although it's being built from the ground up, Intrepid Studios has done wonders getting the game hyped up in the public with literally no marketing as of yet. As of October 2020, they had almost 3 million account signups, and this was before Alpha 1 and before the massive progress they've shown this year, and the game hasn't even hit the beta testing phases yet. That alone is an amazing feat for any game studio, especially an indie game developer, and Intrepid will need to handle it very carefully to make sure those 3 plus million players return on launch day. One of the biggest takeaways from World of Warcraft's success though was how easy it was for someone to get into who had very little knowledge or none at all of the MMO genre. I personally dabbled in the Dark Ages of Camelot for my first MMO before WoW, but World of Warcraft was the first time that I went all into an MMO. And what really got me there was how easy it was to understand from the moment you jumped into the world of Azeroth. As the genre has slowly faded away in the last 20 years to finally start to be built up again and the hype around it come back, there needs to be an MMO out there that does this again. Ashes of Creation can gain and retain many, many of its subscribers by limiting the barrier to entry and allowing people new to the genre to jump in and feel right at home as if they're playing the next annual Call of Duty. And now I don't mean that as make the game casual because Ashes of Creation is not a casual game, but if you look at WoW Class it was not casual either, it just did a great job at explaining the classes as you progressed, and then explaining the endgame content as you join a guild to take on those first bosses. Steven Sharif, the creative director behind Ashes and the founder of Intrepid Studios, has a vision to make MMORPGs great again. In a non-pay-to-win, high-fantasy world, giving players the ultimate choice in the game built around a risk versus reward mindset. And really, everything in the game is built around this. Whether it's PvP, a castle siege, dungeons or raids, the node system, everything has a big risk behind it that will make finishing that goal much more satisfying in the end. And that alone, I believe, is what brought a lot of players to the game. Well, this, along with the game-changing systems such as the nodes that are leveled up by the player, unlocking content as they progress with a promise that no server is going to be the same, dynamic zone-altering weather systems that can change up trade routes, resources, creatures, and more, really helping strengthen the node economies, causing players to rely on each other in ways that haven't been seen before in the genre. 64 possible classes and extensive character customization really allowing you to play 
play how and what you want to and be the character of your dreams, and massive castle sieges bringing somewhere between 500 and 1,000 players against each other on one open world battlefield for full control over specific server locations. All of these systems, backed by the power and the beauty of Unreal Engine 5, will make Ashes of Creation the greatest MMORPG in history. But in order for this to actually happen, Intrepid needs to stick with Steven's vision no matter what. They can't have broken promises. Yes, things change during game development, but the whole reason Steven Sharif started Intrepid was because of being burnt out over and over again, wanting a great MMORPG to play. This really built the foundation of the studio. They have the time and the resources to make this possible. Steven has put in more than 30 million of his own money, along with the Kickstarter funds, and he is willing to put in even more if necessary. There is no corporate entity forcing them to hit deadlines. They can take as long as they possibly want to make sure this game is perfect. And as long as Intrepid sticks with that mindset, nothing will stand in their way for making Ashes of Creation the biggest MMORPG to ever hit the market. Do you guys think Ashes of Creation has what it takes to take that top spot in the MMORPG genre? Drop a comment down below, and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just be ready for when you can finally jump into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.